Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Yes, it's been a while. I have been a busy little monkey doing a lot of day job stuff. This whole going on the road three days a week, it's, it's cramping my style and I'm having to get used to it. So sorry, but that's the way it goes. That's gonna lead me into what I'm gonna talk to you about today. So I think it was last week, I'm riding around with my wife we're doing our usual errands, shopping and what have you and all that, seemingly out of the blue. She looks over to me and she said, you know what? I think that you should just identify as a birder. Go all in, 100% say, you're a birder, because I think that would be cool. And I'm like, hmm, okay, where'd that come from? She said, well, you know, you, you just love it. You, you've got all this gear. You absolutely just, you, you talk about it all the time. You're always talking about how you're, you know, telling people about stuff. You're always po posting your pictures. Not always, but I get what she means. And you just, I mean, you just genuinely love it. It's cute to see that you're so excited about it. And I thought about that all day long. For the rest of the day, everywhere we went, I just kept thinking about that. Now, I have said all along that, you know, I lost my taste for shooting human beings years ago, which is why you know, finding the birding was so surprising to me that I actually really did enjoy it. From the first time I looked up and saw that green heron and took that first picture, then it just became this scramble to get better and better gear and to get better and better at being able to find all these birds and oh, the toughest part, getting better about being able to shoot them properly. And I think I've come a long way in probably the three years that, that I finally have started doing this. I'm going to say three years. It's probably been longer than that. The point is, is that it is a never ending quest for me to get better at, at bird photography, wildlife in general, although around here, it's mostly birds. I'm not going into areas that are, that are big on coyotes and bear and, and bobcats and all that kind of shit. Although that would be really cool. Scary, but cool. I'm going to say that I really took to heart what she said to me and I have decided that that's what I'm going to do. Now, I'm not going to say I'm a birder. There's a big difference there. There's three terms, bird watchers, birders, and bird photographers. A bird watcher is somebody that just, oh, there's a bird. Wow, that's pretty cool. And you may be sitting there drinking coffee at a Starbucks or something and seeing all the little birds come up and, and trying to eat your crumbs and all that kind of shit. You're watching birds. Birder is someone who actively seeks out birds and acquires gear to help them do that. Someone who you see walking around with binoculars or a telescope or something like that where they're actively birding. They are attempting to find birds and they're using whatever technology they have at hand that they can buy, that they can afford to help them go out and see birds and identify them. And they usually have like some kind of pad or a, a manual or something so that they can identify them. In this day and age, you have the Cornell Merlin app so that you can hold it up and listen to the, to the sounds that they make and it'll help you identify them. Or you can take a picture of it and help you identify it. That's a birder. A birding photographer, that's me. Look at this harness I got. I'm trying that out today. I'm going to show you this harness that I got, or harness system. I got this big ass 200 to 600 lens. I've got an A7R5 for the maximum megapixel content that I can get. I'm going to Pleasure House Point that I'm the most familiar with, but I, I have gone to First Landing State Park. I've gone to Stumpy Lake and it sucked, but that's because I didn't go to the right place, I guess. So I'm going to be trying that again. But everywhere I go, I've been trying to get better pictures. Since I'm on the road three days a week, mostly, I've decided that I'm actually gonna take a setup with me. So I've been seriously thinking about this and, and you know what I can do to basically become a birder, a birding photographer. I've been putting a lot of thought into this and I've been taking a lot of action in order to get myself to a point of being able to, to legitimately say, I'm a birding photographer or I'm a wildlife photographer. I, I want to say wildlife photographer because I'm, I'm not going to limit myself to birds. But like I said, around here, birds are the big thing. And that's what got me started. So for now, I'm just going to say I'm a wildlife photographer and I'm just going to start adding to that collection. That being said, I had to change a lot of stuff about my YouTube channel. How long have I been bitching and moaning about the fact that I'm not a gear channel? I'm not a gear channel. Stop demanding that I do your tests and buy the things that you want me to test and to shut up talking about my daily life. And, and I got really fed up with a bunch of 
gaping dickholes that were coming into my channel and, and really being rude and demanding about stuff and, and, and trying to dictate and tell me what I should be doing. So I, I removed all mentions of gear. I, I removed it from my description. I, I put in the, the description of my channel, star, 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 this is not a gear review channel. It's a, it's a vlog, I'm documenting my daily life. Well, now I've gone in and I've rethought and redone all that. So, geez, get a muffler. So my channel is going to be a wildlife bird-centric channel. And I went into the description and I changed what I said about myself and what the channel is about. And basically it's just gonna be me pursuing this wildlife bird-centric lifestyle. And I'm gonna be talking about my gear setups and things that I have to help you along the way so that you can see what I'm using and how that may or may not help you. And that will include me ranting about maybe a bunch of annoying influencers that try to talk you into buying expensive gear that you don't need and that sucks anyways. That's what it's gonna be about. So I put the gear back into the description of every video so that you can see what I'm using. And I also will now talk about gear specifically as I'm going along in this channel. I've been waiting and not posting videos because I've been mulling all that over in my little monkey melon and deciding how best to proceed with doing that. And I thought, well, okay, I need to get my gear situation figured out and then I need to fix my channel details and all that kind of stuff. And then I need to start making the transition into actually doing this all the time now, where instead of it just being a, you know, me talking about, all right, I'm going to three ships. All right, I'm at Target for the 15th time today and shit like that. Now I'm getting to a point where I'm thinking ahead and thinking, all right, what do I need to film for this video? Which leads me to the next point. No more daily videos. Not gonna happen. Can't do it, don't have the time for it. And as much as I would love to be able to do it, the reality is can't do it. I just cannot do it. I don't have that kind of time. Now, I don't, I'm not telling you that I'm quitting my job and I'm going full-time YouTube and full-time you know, nature photographer and all that kind of shit. No, that ain't gonna happen. And I mean, I don't think that'll ever happen because I get paid well. <laughs> there you have it. I am no longer a vlog channel. I am now a wildlife bird centric channel and I'm going to proceed thusly. I hope you're interested enough to stick around and see my crazy antics. Nothing else is gonna change. I'm still a dumb monkey. I'm still gonna swear. I'm still gonna talk about dumb shit and I'm still gonna be annoyed by people, but not as much because I'm not gonna be showing you all my road rage and things like that. Most of the stuff will center around the whole wildlife experience. And that may include me driving to and from places, but it's really gonna be me in the places doing stuff and showing you more pictures of what I do because I've realized I don't show nearly enough pictures. Enough blathering, eh, let's get into Pleasure House Point and see if we can't get us some birdies. To start this journey off, I wanna to talk to you about what I'm wearing here. And that is the Whistling Wings Photography Harness. And what this thing does is it allows you to carry these gigantic ass setups hands-free, theoretically. I have found, as I was walking in here, carrying my tripod with the FX3, I can walk like this. And the way that this is set up, the weight is distributed evenly enough that I can walk and I can, you know, I can do shit. Now I'm gonna hold on to this because I'm not stupid, but this is the way that this kind of works. So what it is, is that this cross harness system, and I of course got the super duper package. So it's got like, the extra pads for the shoulders and all that stuff. And I got an extra moly pouch. I got the monopod setup that also comes with this ball head, this like swiveling ball head. So what you do is you attach the camera here onto the ball head with the foot of the lens. Let's see if I can turn it so that you can see it with the right here, duh. And then you have this loose and then you have the actual collar on the camera loose so that you can spin the camera, whichever way you need to. If you wanna go vertical, if you wanna go horizontal, whatever. And then you keep adjusting the monopod so that it's set up right at the height that it needs to be set up. So when you wanna take a shot, you can literally just pull the camera up and now you've got it. I just took a picture of something. <laughs> you can pull the camera up and it's set for your eye. And if you need to go up, if you wanna lift it, you can lift it. It's still gonna stay in here because it stays in there pretty good. And you have your, what they call, I don't know, your, your 
oh shit, little clasp here. And I put that through this little slot on the monopod at the top. And then you can just clip it into the harness. So that way, and I got a heavy setup, but it'll hold it. So if you, if you slip, it'll catch it and you don't drop the camera. You don't drop the whole system, but you can, you can get down. You can even lay down. I mean, you can move this however you need to move this and it will work. And I have it set up so that it goes right to my eye as I tested it out in my bedroom. Haha, -ha. we are all set now to take pictures and have all that weight taken off. And then you can just flip it and walk around with it. And actually would flip it this way so that I can hold on down here ooh, and hit myself in the face. And this, it's just literally a very comfortable harness. And I was shocked when I was walking in because I mean, I was holding that stuff and walking like this and everything there, like it, it, it doesn't bother me like it did before where I would put a strap on and have it hanging here. And then by the end of my walk through Pleasure House Point, I was basically like semi crippled and then my back and my neck hurt for the next three days. And that sucked and nobody wants that. So this now distributes the weight evenly across my shoulders. My entire torso holds everything. I've got a oh shit strap in case I drop stuff and I'm also ready to go right off the bat. If I need to take a picture, literally it's that fast. And now I'm ready to go and take that picture instead of, all right, I got to set this down. I got to loop that off and I got to grab my camera and pull it up. Now I'm just ready to go. I mean, I could literally walk like this if I wanted to, but I'm carrying this camera too, because I wanted to film this. So it's all about the flow, man. You know, the monkey, the monkey's constantly talking about his flow. I'm buying all this stuff. I'm testing all this gear. I, I have different clothing that I'm, you know, that I'm wearing. I got my gloves on today, huh? See, dumb monkey wasn't dumb. I carry these gloves now that I specifically bought because they're thin enough to go into my man purse and I have them with me all the time. And they work on phone screens and all that kind of stuff too and on the camera. So we're good to go. All right, so here we are. We're at Pleasure House Point now. We've got our new Whistling Wings Photography Harness System on. I've got my A7R5 with my 200 to 600 lens and I think it's set incorrectly because I was trying to shoot people the other day. We're ready to go. Let's go out here and hopefully see a bird because I was shooting humans. I had it set to basically single shot autofocus instead of continuous autofocus. And I'm like, why, why isn't this working right? This is the problem when you're switching cameras and, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, now I think we're ready to go and get this stuff going correctly. Okay, I got two egrets over here that I'm gonna try to get. Ooh, look, we got a snake. No, don't turn away. This eye autofocus is spectacular. Wow. Okay, well, that was just spectacular. I happened to see those two egrets from the distance and I thought, okay, it's worth the walk. I get over there and it's two snowy egrets, which I don't see as often as like the normal egrets. You can tell by the, the feet, the feet are yellow, like a really bright yellow. I can't think of a better way to end today's reveal video about me going all in on being a bird wildlife photographer and, and switching my channel to basically show you that than that. <laughs> That's what it's all about. This Whistling Wings photography setup is awesome and it has made this immensely better walking around. And I won't always have um, like this gigantic setup and another tripod with an FX3 on it, you know, filming me. I'm probably gonna be doing a lot more just the Pocket 3 or the Osmo Action 4 to catch myself out here. I mean, that's why I have all this different gear. Every situation calls for a different tool and I like to have a lot of nice tools in my toolbox and I think I'm there. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to let you know about the changes to this channel and, and where I'm going in my life as a photographer. And I think that it is not a surprise 
It's certainly not a surprise to me. It was a surprise to actually have my wife just turn around out of the blue and say, I think this is what you should be doing because it makes you so happy. And then being like, yeah, she's right, it does. I should do that. Also, that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop the pursuit of having more human portrait photography sessions as well. I'm not strictly just gonna be you know, a bird in wildlife because there's just too many wonderful things out here to take pictures of. There's just a wall of birds coming this way. Neat, ah, oh, I love it. Welcome to the new channel, if you wanna call it that. It's the same channel, but less road rage. Okay. So that's all you get for today. I hope you stick around. If this is your first time to the channel, I hope you stick around. I'm gonna to try to make it as entertaining as possible and as educational as possible, or if nothing else, to get you out of your office or wherever it is that you may be and just enjoy some scenery and some wildlife and some sunshine and, and all that cool stuff that makes us a little less stabby. All right, so that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.